What's good, everybody? The Ambassador here. Welcome back to the Enthusiast Roundtable. And today we are back in the studio and we have a nice purple color going on. And you'll see why we have purple in just a second. We wanted to match some of our guests. So let's go ahead and throw it over to them. We have got... Go ahead and introduce you guys. How's it going? I'm Gio. And I'm Antonio. And as you can see, Antonio has the nice purple hair and he was worried about smashing it with the headphones but we made it work check it out and we also have with us oh that's me hi yeah. <laughs> what's up guys um josiah here national coasters in the studio <laughs> sweet high energy <laughs> high energy josiah we, we we love it so uh on today's show, we just wanted to talk about um, kind of what's going on with the industry right now. And that's why we wanted to bring these other guys on, because they have some impressive coaster credits. Why don't you go ahead and drop that number now? Go ahead. <laughs> 637 credits. And I don't know my exact count. I just know I'm over 500. Basically, I only sign in to like, coaster dash count where I keep... Any of the coaster enthusiasts watching this will know what that is. <laughs> I only sign in before a trip, and basically that's the only time that I know the exact number. So I'll know in like two months. Two months. Yeah. <laughs> and Josiah, what about you? Well, let's just leave mine out of this. No. Uh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> These guys got me beat. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's better than me. I actually, when people say, "What's your coaster count?" I say, "Yes," because I personally don't care. Because for me, it's all about the right experience, not the number. But, you know, no big deal, guys. No big deal, right? <laughs> it, it, it is, at the end of the day, all about the right experience, of right. course. I mean, that's much more important quality always. So uh, what would you say is your top five roller coasters that you've ridden? Um, for me, I would say Steel Vengeance mm -hmm. at Cedar Point, T Express at Everland. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's basically just as good. <laughs> Um, Hakuge at Nagashima, um, Lightning Rod, Sky Rush. Am I at five? That's five. Yeah, I guess I guess that's my top five. I, I'm sensing a theme here. We like oh. RMC. Oh yeah, huh? RMC is hands down my favorite company. <laughs> hands nice. down. Nice, nice. As I put my hands up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you? My favorite company is Intamin, but um, yeah, yeah, RMC is fantastic as well. I we share the same top three, and then after that it changes. So I like Steel Vengeance, T Express, and Hakuge. And then after that, I don't know. It, it becomes very difficult. Uh, just, I mean, I love ejector airtime. So anything with really strong ejector is my favorite. Uh, I don't know. Sky Rush and Intimidator 305. I know that's a lot of positives, but um, <laughs> just those, those, two are, <laughs> those two are both excellent. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, like I'm, I've, I'm always waffling back and forth. I, I kind of want like Sky Rush and T Express to be like my top two, but. I don't know. It's so hard to say. Anything with very strong ejector is my favorite. <laughs> uh, hey, look, I'm with you. I love Intamin. Intamin is like, I, I just I have a love affair with Intamin. Um, I, have so Intamin a, I have Intamin track tattooed to my body. So what? Is it in a place that is appropriate to show on camera? It is not. I have my... Oh! I have, well, I mean, oh. it would be if I was wearing shorts. Uh, I have my entire right leg from my hip to my knee tattooed with all different things. And then on the back of my leg, right where my behind the knee... Like in my knee ditch, I have Intamin track. That, uh, yeah. Okay, so it's not King Daka in a place that we can't talk about. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, <laughs> I, I have no tattoos in places we can't talk about. I promise you that. <laughs> Side note, King Daka is not that great in mm. my opinion. Hot Dude, take. Stop. Stop. Hot take. Stop. Stop. I'm starting We're, it off. We're getting Coaster Wars again. That what is you? not a hot take. <laughs> and King Daka is better than, like than Dragster. King Daka is better than Dragster. I, I think I, I prefer Dragster. It's the same ride except it has over-the-shoulder restraints. But it's taller. By how much? Like 10 feet? <laughs> more than 10 but sure 20 you know i've only 30? ridden dragster and i thought drags well i mean yeah i've ridden dragster and i've ridden accelerator i mean i know they're not okay. the same height but i i i actually prefer accelerators launch over mm. top field dragsters okay mm. what yeah. makes sense i don't know dragsters dragsters first launch front row is terrifying it's but great kina yeah. i think has more plus kina has that extra added airtime hill at the end where drill dragsters just like Long stop. Stop. But my, my ride experience on King Daka, I didn't get airtime over the top hat, whereas Dragster, I did. So That's fair. I'll agree with you on that. So, of, of course, like it could depend on how fast it launches that day because it can differ by a few miles an hour and that can yeah. make a difference. Yeah. From my personal ride experience, Dragster gave me that pop on the top, which was better than the hill on King Daka. Therefore, I like it. All right. More. All right. All right. Well, for me, uh, you know, 
I wrote, I've only done Dragster two times, mm-hmm. and I think that what I liked most about it was the anticipation. I think the antip- yeah. anticipation of that ride really sells it as being the better ride because of the, the rumbling engine sound, mm-hmm. you know, and you've got, you got the, the Christmas tree lights that are there, mm-hmm. you know, and it's like, you feel like latch, you know, that, and, you know, it's the intimidating thing in front of you, which is, which is great, but I still think the accelerator launch to mm-hmm. me hits the stomach a lot more. I don't know if that's because it's a shorter track before it goes vertical, but I don't know. It just it hits me stronger. The acceleration speed between the two coasters is quite similar, even mm-hmm. though Top Full Dragster is like considerably faster, 128 as opposed to 82. Yeah, Accelerator hits 82 in two seconds. Right. Um, whereas Top Full Dragster hits its top speed in, I don't remember the exact number, I think it's 3.5. So the actual acceleration speed is very, very close. It's not like a Dota Dumpa situation or something. Like <laughs> that, you know. Dota Dumpa, like 1.7, like 112. Uh, right. 118 and 1.7. Oh, they, the, they increased it after they, they did took increase the, it, and I've ridden yeah, it they since the, they increase. Okay. And uh, it's definitely the most powerful launch I've ever experienced in my life. I've like heard enthusiasts, down. like I've talked to enthusiasts who have gotten off that ride, and they will not ride it again. Really? Oh, I would ride it again. Yeah, we definitely would have if the line wasn't an hour and 45 minutes. Jeez. But um, yeah, the launch is outrageous yeah. i mean i couldn't i've only ridden one air compressed so i yeah. can't i can't compare it to much yeah that's the one that we rode uh the same day right oh, Just you right? saw axis yeah Th- yeah that was an axis coaster yeah, how was that was... and your son dispatched me <laughs> that's right my my five-year-old uh, son actually did the dispatch on that roller coaster that's it's cool. actually a really good coaster it, uh, for a prototype it was it was really really fun and that is probably the most powerful launch that i've ever experienced but you know then again you know Dota Dump has the same manufacturer, so it's like that air launch. Air launch just hit different. I think it's just more instant than than the the hydraulic uh, launch, like Top Thrill and those. Yeah. It is different. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I felt that way about Dota Dumpa for sure. Like, it's easily the most intense launch I've ever experienced. And yeah. it, it does, like, the instantaneous feeling is... I, I agree. Well... I don't want to feel like uh, Josiah is being left out on his top five coasters and his coaster. Oh yeah. Uh, let's let's go over you, Josiah. What are your top five coasters? Look, people, people that know me will know I got some pretty odd opinions in this community. Like a lot of <laughs> you have seen my "Why I Hate El Toro" video, and we don't have to get into that, anyways. <laughs> um, I think my number one coaster at this moment is probably X Two, which uh. is just twenty minutes down the road from the studio. Yeah. Um, I've never ridden anything that's that's beaten that. I, I think these guys have ridden Agenica, so they can they can give you a comparison on the, uh, I guess it was Arrow versus S and S forties now. Yeah. But um, yeah, X two is pretty fun. Uh, Twisted Colossus way up there for me. It's never been better. Steel Vengeance honestly doesn't even make my top fifty. Like, Ooh. sorry guys. Well, Voyage wow. doesn't make my top two hundred. Okay. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I rank that far. Yeah. I only rank to like twenty, but I could definitely guarantee you. So I, I understand. Mm-hmm. All opinions are. I mean, yeah. Like when you ask for my top five, I think there's a lot that just goes with that because um, I rank coasters a lot off of experience. I don't take into Same. account as much the engineering, more just the experience I had on yeah. it. And I can appreciate good engineering. Um, but I think for me, yeah, it's it's a perfect ride. Will have a little bit of ejector, a lot of floater, and then just a ton of high G elements. Like I love helixes. Inversions super good. Um, Twisted Colossus is Top Gun stall is one of my favorite inversions personally, but. There's a lot of weird stuff like that. Well, you know, and along those same lines, like, you know, I, I, as I bump the mic, um, <laughs> I like to ride coasters that make me smile when I come off of them. Exactly. You know, like there's a lot, you get a lot of people saying, oh my gosh, this coaster, whatever, XYZ is like the best in the world because of XYZ. And if I ride it and I go, if, I don't want a coaster to be an endurance test. Mm-hmm. I don't want to feel like, uh, like I've, when we hit the breaker, I'm like, oh man, I made it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to come off with smiling. That's why I actually, from Cedar Point, we're talking about Steel Vengeance and Hot Takes and stuff like that. I preferred Maverick mm. over. Thank you. I agree. Uh, yeah, I, I just thought Maverick was a, again, intimate. It's, it's a great ride. It's my heart. But it just, I came off it with a smile going, that's awesome. Because, you know, I had, I had written uh, Twisted Colossus and I've written Goliath at Six Flags Great America, which basically combined our Steel Vengeance. Mm. basically. Yeah. And so I knew what to expect while writing Steel Vengeance. And I, I, I really enjoyed Steel Vengeance, but it wasn't like, it didn't blow me away. Mm-hmm. Like, like, I mean, I felt that way about coasters that people rank really highly. So I, I understand completely yeah. what you're saying. I think that for me, I rank a coaster based on just purely how much I enjoyed it. Yeah. You know, and I want to come off a coaster laughing. Like I want to hit the break run and be laughing. Correct. Uh, but what brings me that feeling is often the coasters that other people would describe as an endurance test. Mm. So I think that it just kind of depends. And it also just goes day to day, you know, like, I mean, I absolutely loved Wildfire at Colmarden. Like, mm-hmm. I thought it was a great ride, but I didn't think that it lived up 
nearly to the expectations that people had sort of right ingrained into my mind you know they're like oh yeah. well this is you know the best rmc in the world and I, I i definitely didn't feel that way yeah i mean i think maybe you know part of the reason why people say that is i know a good amount of people rank based off of the theming too and the setting yes. which wildfire is in an unbelievable setting yeah um but you know i mean the views are insane but yeah the ride experience definitely isn't in my opinion as well as like <laughs> amped up or incredible as like it's, lightning rod for example yeah which is also in a really good setting uh, yeah, very, <laughs> yes very good setting. both like the wood rmcs yeah. in wood trees oh i can't leave out outlaw run too that's a yeah. good setting but. yeah well I was, I was gonna say like you know the settings doesn't really really matter if you have your eyes closed not that i close my eyes but you know what i mean i think that's a good ranking of, of a roller coaster is if you can close your eyes and have a blast on it mm. then who cares about theming unless it's velocicoaster which i guess helps i don't know i've never ridden mm. velocicoaster but <laughs> but uh, uh you know my my hottest take for everything here is actually that i actually don't like bnm really at all i i don't mm. which of the hypers have you ridden uh, i've only ridden one bnm hyper and that's mm. probably reason why to this point i've only ridden um Raging Bull, which oh, is, okay. you know, okay, there Twister, whatever. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but, a problem. I, I agree with Josiah here. I yeah. think I'm, are we only missing one BNM Hyper? We've ridden all of them, except uh, we've, we've No, ridden, no, no, there's there's one. Well, I don't even of, know what's I open post, in China. I just posted it a few weeks ago. Oh, it's that yellow one in China. Music. No, but we're missing okay, Shemhala, too. Wait, 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 wait. I want to see if I can know. The name's Me, long. <laughs> mu music, fe no, Phoenix. Hang on, I'll, I'll uh, keep talking. It's it I know, I, I should look it, like it up on this Golden computer. Golden Eagle Wings or something No, like no, that? it ends it's, in Music Roller Coaster. It's For ridiculous. sure it ends. It's a stupid name. <laughs> it is a stupid but, name. Like, it's probably just a translation issue. But no, I, I know that we're missing... Flight of the Himalayan... Flight, Flight of, of the Himalayan, Himalayan Eagle, Eagle Music Roller Coaster. Coaster. Okay, I got it. That is the... Um, round of applause gotta love for China. Antonio. <laughs> I love China. China has, China has amazing names, and then you've got situations where, like, there's an already amazing name, and then they change it, and they change it again, Yeah, like, three weeks down the line. But, no, I, I we're missing that one, obviously, uh -huh. yeah. and we're missing Shemhala uh -huh. at Port of Ventura. Right. Um, but I feel like we've been on, like, all of the others. I feel like we must be missing You're definitely missing. You ought to be missing, like, a couple more. I mean... You haven't ridden Orion. Oh, That's, I'm it's technically a hyper model, a but it is a giga. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah we have definitely haven't ridden Orion. It depends what you classify as a hyper because it's a That's coaster true. type from B and M, but hypers okay, well, define as two hundred feet. Then, yeah, so. then we're also missing Orion because we've done Fury and the, we've done all the other, like we've done the other gigas. Which, by the way, low expectations for anyone who's going to ride Orion. Sorry, Kings yeah. Island, just Diamondbacks better. <laughs> this is the hot take show. Oh, yeah. I, I think we just go hot takes this entire episode. That's so so good. People can get mad at me. It's, it's my opinion. Like I'm sorry. Of like, course, it, <laughs> that, that's the thing. That's the thing, cool thing about the coaster community. It's like it doesn't really matter. People who get so like, you know, like tribal or whatever it is. Like they're like, no, like this is so great. It's like for you, that's great. Like I, I don't, like for example, I went to uh, uh, Bush Gardens, Tampa. I did not like Kumba. Me neither. I'm with you. I beg to differ, but it's okay. Okay, no, I won't say that I didn't like it. I just felt that it was essentially just any other BNM multi-looping coaster. I didn't find it to be. There was nothing special. Okay, let me clarify what I say. I don't like BNMs. I don't like BNM multi-looping coasters. Okay, so, well, <laughs> yeah. Wait. What about inverts? Because some technically, I mean, I guess That's I don't a know. different model. Yeah, some have a multi-loop. So it's just, are you talking about the model or? I'm talking about BNM like coasters that go upside down in general. Uh, yeah. Uh, here, here's, okay. the, here's here's why I say that. Like, um, yeah, I like the Batman clones, sure, and I have flight deck, yeah, that's that's great. Um, Montu, sure, but for me, once I turned a certain age, and I won't say that age, uh, writing coasters that have a lot of positives mm. really mess with my brain. I get like, um, like the like vertigo. Oh no! And so it's oh, like people are like, oh, are you afraid of roller coasters? Like, no, nah, I'm not afraid of roller coasters. I'm afraid of having a bad time after riding a roller coaster, mm -hmm. then my day's done. Fair. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I genuinely can say, like, I am so sorry. Because I've only experienced vertigo once on a roller coaster, like, or from a roller coaster ever. <laughs> and it was a horrific feeling. So I'm so sorry. That yeah, yeah I, have a funny, I have a funny story about the demon at Six Flags Great America where Ooh. I was graying out after the first loop. Oh, and, wow. and I was, like, angry. And, like, I said some <laughs> words that my wife was not happy about. I was saying, I'm like, it's, I have no control of my body. But, <laughs> but uh, what I'm saying is, like, I just, something about the way that B&M has designed their inversions, mm -hmm. they are forceful, which, which is great for the people who like them. Mm -hmm. But for me, what, whatever it is, the transitions out of them or whatever are just too strong for me mm. and so that's why i call the 
like like say like Medusa, Scream, mm-hmm. um, what are the other ones I've written? Um, Kumba. Um, yeah, I can't name them all Kraken, right now. But you probably were in Kraken, have you been right? on Kraken? Yeah. No, I didn't get when I was well, in Florida. We did not. We did not go to a uh, Six Flag. I'm sorry, we didn't go to Sea World. Um, oh, that, that's Mako. why you didn't have uh, Mako. Dang, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mako is Mako's so awesome. good. I know. I, that's I, I wanted to just you know anyway, but uh, uh, I don't want to go on too long about this. But yeah, it's just it's just the way they make me feel like certain arrows too, like certain arrow coasters. Like if something about the transitions, like I they, I just. But you're talking to a guy that sort of grayed out on the Helix on um, Big Thunder Railroad, so <laughs> it stinks getting old, you guys. But anyway, hey, let's move on to uh, let's talk about the um, the cool new coasters that are coming up. So we have a uh, Velosa coaster that has s- soft, soft opened. Yeah, it's soft mm-hmm. opening. Yeah, yeah, and um, then we have uh, Iron Guazi that's still just sitting there, mm-hmm. and uh, but Iron. Uh, let's see what Ice. Oh, Pan- yeah. oh Pantheon! Oh my gosh, looks so good. So, what do you guys think? What's your most anticipated roller coaster that's going to be open? It could be worldwide uh, oh, in the coming oh, years. Oh, worldwide! Um, Konda. Konda. Yeah, both of us. Both of us think. Yeah, that POV you looks amazing. That? You can find the POV online now. It's there. Yeah, yeah it looks there's epic. a lot of on-ride videos, like unmounted or like non-lipsticked, uh, like cell phone videos on Konda, mm-hmm. and like it looks absolutely insane. I would yeah. say that's probably my most anticipated. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I did see a. A review of a guy that wrote it. Oh, mm. really? What did he say? Mm. It wasn't that great. Mm. But this is a guy that's been on a lot of roller coasters as well. And so he said, you know, he said it's good. It's an intimate. It's awesome when it's supposed to be awesome. But it actually had more downtime than he thought it would. Mm. Okay. Well, I look forward to seeing. I mean, I absolutely loved Expedition GeForce. And right. I feel like it looks like Expedition GeForce 2.0. Like, <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, question for everybody. Yeah. Let's go to the studio cam. Pantheon. Ooh. Yeah, so Pantheon or Tutatis? Which do you think looks better? Pantheon. Oh. Really? Hands down. Hmm? It's shorter. Pantheon's like. And that's the one that's at Parque de Astrix or yeah, whatever? Yeah, Parque Astrix. Pa- 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 I wrote him in Parque Astrix. The French R's. The French R's. I mean, you speak German, so you can pronounce it. The R's the same. No. Well, it's close. No. <laughs> would the German R? There's two different ways to pronounce an R in German. That's true. Okay. But the one, would it still not be Astrix? Wouldn't he th- it's it's it's, it's the, the whoop whoop camera crazy the uh, the R in German is in the back of the throat okay in the back they don't ever have a, they don't have a, f- a forward R that is a tangent yeah very. Okay, <laughs> but I, I don't know it's I, related somewhat though it is it is I I would say oh, I don't know maybe just, I'll say Pantheon just because it's closer and more accessible okay that's fair but I mean, I, sorry I didn't mean to interrupt no you. go for it I I I don't know I I think. I can't really remember the POV of the animated POV of the one at Parker Streaks. Yeah. Uh, but I remember being really, really blown away by that and not being super blown away by the animated POV of Pantheon. And only once I saw the test run yeah. being like, oh my God, this looks insane. Yeah. Pantheon's so, like that one element, that little twist and, and that, that small twist. That yeah. then leads into like that outward. Oh my gosh! That overbank ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Pantheon looks yeah. incredible. I because. feel like to answer the question honestly, I'd have to see the other one test run, and that's obviously. Not I was just yet, curious so. because all we have of Tutatis is the animated, and I mm-hmm. feel like animated POVs are often so. They're just. They're well, just I mean, not, we've seen the one at Six Flags. What Kidia Chidia, however you say it, that oh, supposed Kidia. new yeah. tallest roller coaster they're building. Mm-hmm. That whoever like that's not. That animation's not it's gonna a be. joke. I feel like we, yeah. <laughs> it looked like it came just like straight out of Planet Coaster. No, I could, I could have designed <laughs> it better. Sorry. Well, yeah. I mean, the the forces at the the valleys of some yeah. drops would. I kill believe I'm with the human. stats. Like the stats, they can say all that, right? But the the animation itself, like the transition, there's a smoothing tool on Planet Coaster. Use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> but yeah, I think with Pantheon, what, I think the thing that surprised me most about Pantheon was, um, you know, they they, they kind of like took what RMC was doing. And they said, let's see if we can stretch it. Mm-hmm. See if we can make it better. Like the outer bank turn looks amazing. Everyone's talking about the, the drop hat, the drop after the top uh, over the top hat, which looks great. But I still think that the that stall, the stall, mm-hmm. we can't forget about the stall. Not only does it go up, but it keeps going and then it starts going down. It's almost a dive loop before it, before it, it straightens it, back does out. Does it twist out the opposite direction? Or Am I mistaken? Don't remember. Uh, get in either. the comments, everybody. Uh, yeah, let's, let, uh, us, let us know. let us know in let the comments what what, uh, what which way it twists out. But uh, what I'm saying is that you know with the, with the stalls that we're used to on RMCs, they, they you know they, they they hang in and then they come back out again. This one starts to drop 
like 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 literally almost a dive loop before it comes back out again, which is it's almost like it's no one's talking about like that. it's following the terrain, right? It, which is ah. so cool. Like I, I mean, it looks incredible. I can't wait to ride it. Yeah, we were supposed to be riding it in uh, in July, but we're, we we yeah. we were all supposed to be riding a whole bunch of things by now, mm-hmm. but we won't talk about the c word. But <laughs> uh, so Josiah, what was your most anticipated? Mine was Velocicoaster, but mm. now that it's soft open, I'm not going to count that. Um, oh. I am excited to go over there and ride it, though. I was talking to a lot of you know Taylor about it. Um, mm-hmm. He obviously went and wrote it. Um, I think for me, Iron Gwazi is very high up for me, mm. but the fact that Bush Gardens has waited this long <sighs> is no. really frustrating, and it's losing the hype. Like They had they had a window where they could have opened it and gotten so much praise, yep. but they passed that point, and everyone's just kind of pissed like, to be honest at this point so we're all kind of waiting for it it still looks incredible though it's just annoying that we've seen it test up to like even a year and a half ago right even and with it's riders still sitting there yeah with right i was, I was gonna yeah, say with, with, with riders. riders on it yeah fred grubbs written it we should send an email to fred grubb and ask you him should. Let's ask him. what do you think of iron Gwazi? hi fred no did bias you take, did you take your grandchildren on that? well you know what it is i mean rmc is like look it should be open why is it not open they've yeah. done their job I yeah it's, it's definitely not their yeah, fault you know what 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 do you guys think? Why 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 the delay? What what's going on? What is your uh, and again? This is all speculation. This is just enthusiast talking. Yep. I mean, if we're not supposed to mention the c word, <laughs> I mean, no. it liter- literally just the pandemic. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I I'm very out of the loop on a lot of coaster news, especially over the past year. Yeah. Um. You know, but but I would just say everything that's happened over the last twelve months is just I mean, reason enough. I've heard a lot. In regards to finances, yeah, so I've heard the same. Without time, unpacking yeah. that in a problematic manner, I would say that I think it's a, it's a money thing, you know. But don't you think if they opened it, they could bring some more money? Oh, of course they could, absolutely. But I mean, none of this makes economic sense, right? I mean, Emperor, like that doesn't make economic sense either. True, that's been testing for like what three months now, two or three months more, because yeah. I went down and saw it test when I was in San Diego, like early in the year. I mean, that seems so turnkey, too. Like, Emperor, even more so than, than Gwazi. Gwa- I mean, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. Just, But it's just like, you know, Emperor just seems like they could. it's ready to go. It is. Yeah. You know? It is um, ready to go. All these rides are ready to go. And we're ready yeah. to go ride the ready <laughs> exactly. to go rides. <laughs> exactly. I mean, if Velocicoaster showed us anything, wasn't like Velocicoaster like not even vertical? Like, before, like, Iron Gwazi was done. Hmm. And then... Velocicoaster went vertical, has beaten it, and has opened. I know, obviously, you know, Universal is sitting on a mountain of cash, but yeah, it's just. I, I mean, yes, you're right. <laughs> I mean, all you have to do is go to like, go through one queue, and you know that they're sitting on a mountain of cash, or right. go to Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, it's like, oh my That's gosh, true. you know. So the the on the financial side of things, like, of course, Velocicoaster is open. Ugh. Anyway, uh, you know, let's just open up. I want to ride some rides. I mean, because there's so many cool rides that are opening up. We've got Pantheon. We've got um, Velasco's that will be fully open. We've got Emperor we're waiting on. We've got, uh, speaking of SeaWorld, we've got Icebreaker, Mm -hmm. which I think is going to be kind of a creeper hit. I think it's going to be a lot more fun than people are giving it credit for. What do you think about that, Uh, Josiah? Icebreaker, I went to SeaWorld Orlando, I don't know, two months ago. So I was able to see it testing up close. For me personally, I'm not very impressed by it. Um, mm. It could have some potential. I am. I'm not not a fan of Premiere, but I'm not a fan of Premiere <laughs> per se. Um, like my personal opinion, I hate the Skyrocket twos. Like, same. same. I hate them. We're all on the same page. And though. I've ridden a multiple. I Us I too. don't like any of them. Steel we didn't or, um, Electric Eel is my least favorite. But um, I think for me, Icebreaker, if it's anything like Full Throttle. I'm excited for it because I personally I'm a huge Full Throttle fan. I love Full Throttle, um, but Icebreaker just looks a little slow and bleak to me. But that could change, you know. I'm gonna go yeah. ride it when it opens. So we'll see. here, here's my take on it. Um, West Coast Racers, right? People were just kind of writing that off, like going, you know, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be cool, whatever. And it is. It's fun. It's cool. It's nothing to write home about, except for that high five element. I agree. Nobody saw that high five element coming. It's whippy. Like holy crap! Like yeah. it was a yeah. big surprise. There is. That exact same, obviously it's not dueling, but there's that exact, exact same element on uh, Icebreaker. And I think that's going to probably yeet even harder to say what the kids are saying now. Mm. It won't yeet as hard as Jersey Devil that 
Yo, oh, the, it's uh, water dummy right out of the. Oh, the oh the yeah, I didn't. That was hilarious. I didn't see that. Oh yeah. Man. So obviously, water dummies don't have arms and legs like people. Right. So the ejector airtime was so strong on Jersey Devil that it ejected a water dummy out of the car. Uh, Holy cow! In row seven, so people are saying row seven is the magic seat. Ah. Um, but yeah, apparently it like went all the way out into the trees. What what element? Oh, just one of the straight hills. I think. I saw a picture. I think there's a lot of things lost in those trees around Great Adventure. I've lost a couple phones on Nitro. I'm <laughs> not kidding. It's yeah. the, the Jersey Devil who's stealing them. Uh, uh, lame dad joke. But uh, no, Jersey looks Devil amazing. does look really awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited for them for that ride to open, too, because, you know, I'm a fan of the Raptors. Oh, you know, I think they're super whippy, super fun. Uh, and the new layout looks interesting. And are they longer trains, too? They are. Yeah. I think yeah. it's by about two cars. Like genuinely yeah. Wonder Woman at Fiesta Texas. Yeah. That's like amazing. that's just outside of my top five. What? Like that coaster is yeah, insane. Fantastic. It's so good. It's so intense. And so I I'm insanely excited about Jersey Devil. Like about equally excited about that as I am about Iron Guazi. I nice. think I I mean Iron Guazi looks insane. Yeah. And but after riding a couple raptors, I'm like this layout looks like it could be just as good as like a lot of the other well, top tier RMCs. And those two will actually ride this year. Yeah, it's true. So we will stunt pilot and um, nice Jersey Devil. So. The stunt pilot looks good too. I mean, I, I'm, I'm curious to see how it's going to go with the um, with the longer train. Um, whether it makes it more. I mean, it probably will, right? Because it's going to be heavier. But I don't. I don't know. Yeah, but, I mean, the first drop will definitely be even crazier in the yeah. back row. Yeah. Um, it's not as steep, though. The shaping's different. Oh, it isn't? Oh. Mm. I didn't know that. I just wanted... My my tip for uh, Silverwood is that little ring that you have it going through lights that on fire. Oh, <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, At least yeah, get some, cool. like, ring lights. That'd you know, cool. some of the chaser lights. Look, if we can have a fire element that works sometimes on X2, uh, we can do... <laughs> we can do... <laughs> An element of a Ring of Fire that'd be that would be pretty sweet. Be cool. But speaking of uh, raptors, mm. uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain, what what? How say you guys? I think I, I would say we're pretty much. Yeah, I, I think it's coming. I will say I was just in the park today before this. I was just there with some of these guys sitting on the couch and um, wave wave GP. Wave GP. Yeah, what's lean your, to your left and wave take after this? So Josiah brought some. Uh, jo- Josiah brought some like uh, his entourage. Um, they're, they're just hanging out here in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're here. Um, anyways, yeah, they they uh they actually took off and went and rode Goliath and some other stuff. But I walked around with a couple other enthusiasts who found me and and we went to go look at the construction site over where this new supposed single rail is gonna be. I don't want to say too much. I'm not trying to expose Magic Mountain here, mm. but um. I will say the Green Lantern station does appear to be getting repurposed. Um, the Green Lantern logo out front, the huge logo, they've taken half of that down. Tidal Wave's almost completely gone. Yeah. Um, but is the big oversized comic lantern still there? No. No, it's not. It's not. It's gone. They, um, the That's very, gone now? The very yes. tail end of it is sitting there, but the rest is on the floor. We actually... The flash, if you get off the exit to that queue line, there's a little staircase, and if you walk up it, you can see it laying there next to a, yeah. the fighter pilot. Yeah. yeah. If I if I wasn't uh, fully booked for October and I was uh, working Fright Fest, I'd have a lot to say. Because back when I was a monster uh-huh. uh, at Fright Fest, like alongside my normal career, I worked Fright Fest eight seasons. What? And um, yeah, I was very well known, actually. I was one of the sliders in Gotham City. We have a running wow. theory that Antonio actually scared me one time when I was. Uh, it probably happened. Park. I may, I may have. I don't know. <laughs> I no, I was nowhere near as well known as you know those people that have been there for like twenty years. But um, but I did do eight seasons, and at that time, you know, you have access to all of the back service roads and right. such. Right. So of course, if I was going to be in California <laughs> this year at all uh, in the fall, and I worked Fright Fest, then perhaps I'd be able to see a whole lot going on back there. But I will not be here. So you mean certain things that are under some certain tarps back. Oh yeah, behind there's, certain there's, areas. There's those. There's those. <laughs> there are those. I mean, I've I remember when like employees would just flat out deny <laughs> things that sure. you know. Yeah. You well, that's the management's see, changed so. now. It's it's a lot different. Mm, I good. will say I don't know if I could find these photos, but there 
I believe three or four months ago, we've actually seen some of the prefabricated track on RMC, like on site. Mm -hmm. oh, so yeah, we yeah, do yeah. know that it is coming, I guess you could say. I just, I can't like actually say that because I can get in trouble, but that's just I mean, my take. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> that's we're going to have take. to edit I that think, out. I think we're getting this, uh, I think we're going to get the single rail and I pretty agree. quickly too. Well, it's open now. Six Flags has been doing a good job with with uh, everything. And even when I did come back to Magic Mountain for the first time after the pandemic, after like a year and a half, the park is super clean. Like they, um, they've done a lot of stuff. It looks really good. Even the M and M sponsorship. When you're walking up towards Superman, they redid yeah. those whole stairs, and like mm -hmm. it looks really good. Yeah, they do replace that um, every few years. Actually, they had taken those down right before the pandemic started, hmm. and where I was like, oh, they're gone. The sponsorship's gone. But then, sure enough, when we came back for a day one, opening day, there they were. Good old trusty M and M stairs. <laughs> but they no, it's so everywhere. M and M talkies and Twix. <laughs> the left or right side. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> so Josiah, yeah. So you're saying when I'm talking about the Green Lantern, going back to this, mm -hmm. like the the prop, the giant prop Green Lantern, yeah. that's gone. It's there. It's just not assembled. It's in a heap on the floor. Oh well, that's uh, I, we can. That's pretty much getting scrapped unless I don't know some little enthusiasts come along and try and take it. I because my my thing was you know <laughs> the sign was coming down and I think figured they'd take the sign down anyway because it was B and M track and it was a yeah. and ride. But um, mm -hmm. I, I just was figuring if if that lantern stayed there then they're gonna call it Green Lantern, two. <laughs> you know what? I mean, that is a possibility though. Like you never know. Oh, they could. I hope not. Six, in, in typical Six Flags fashion, though, that that can be yeah. kind of expected. I'm just gonna throw out this random prediction that yeah. literally just popped in my mind. Yeah. I, I have no substance to this. <laughs> it's just All something right. that I thought of. What if it's a Catwoman roller coaster? We've got a Wonder Woman. Yes. There's a Catwoman's whip at Six yeah. Flags New yep. England. It's a kitty coaster. Yep. Like I think it would be cool to have a jet black single rail oh. RMC. So if we're just going based off theming, that's also a ride that's not at Magic Mountain right, right. now. There's nothing Catwoman themed. So hey, maybe just just remember, Geo said this <laughs> on this show. Well, we'll hang see on. If it happens. We'll see if it happens. Well, hang on. My my six year old son said the same thing actually when oh. we were there a couple of weeks ago okay because uh, nice. everybody thinks it's gonna be the joker i don't want it to be the joker i don't know I don't why know. i just don't want it, to be, it to be the joker we have so many jokers of we don't many. need another exactly. right isn't green lantern becoming joker at la Hond? i thought it was love vibora i'm so white i can't say that very well love vibora la vibora yeah, yeah. isn't that it what? That's no. What, that's what they're calling Green Lantern, right? No. No, no. They're they're calling they're, they're calling. Wait, Green no, not Lavi Bora. That's um, they're they're, they're calling it Vipair. The they're yeah, calling it Vipair. Oh. That's it. That's it. Vipair. Lavi Bora is the the bobsled. Swiss bobsled. Yeah, yeah that's that's yeah. a Six Flags <laughs> over Texas. And we actually that bobsled was actually at Magic Mountain from like yeah, Serial over bobsleds. Serial over bobsleds. Yeah, I was there. That's way before my time, but I I have ridden it at over Texas. Really quick, can I ask like I want to just defunct creds at Magic Mountain. Have we all ridden Green Lantern? Yes. yes. Does anyone here have Shockwave? Yes. I don't. Shock. Yes, I wrote no. Shockwave. You yeah. did? Yep. Cyclone. Wait, yes. Shockwave, no. Yeah, I wrote Shockwave. Uh, Deja Cyclone, Vu? Cyclone, yes. Okay. Deja Vu, of course. Yes. Yeah. Mark, Mountain Express. No. Ah, see. There we go. <laughs> there we go what? <laughs> <laughs> ah, there we go. What do you mean? <laughs> what's, what's the there we go? I'm, I'm just teasing all you guys with your credits. You guys probably all have way more than me. But uh, So what's no, your count, Josiah? He said he wasn't gonna say. I'm I'm very close to 200. Okay, nice. cool. Okay. So you're gonna hit that this year. Yes, I nice. am hoping to hit it out of the country. That'd be my goal. Very nice. Cool. I That's was some... supposed to hit 700 Spain. last year, and that didn't happen because ah. of COVID. So. Yep. I had a lot of stuff planned. I was going to Spain. I was gonna go to, I can't pronounce the names. Parque de Atracciones or whatever. In oh, Parque, Parque de yeah. Parque de Atracciones. Yeah. I I went there four years ago and rode Abismo, Tarantula, mm -hmm. Tornado. Those were all super fun. Spiders yes. very. Or Tarantula is very underrated. What about Port Aventura? I haven't been there. The Warner Bros. Park. Were you uh, are, Were you going to go? I was going to, but it was it was close for the off season when we Wait, went. Wait, with Stuntfall. I'm talking about. Dragon Con, Shemhala. Oh, no. Haven't been there. Looks oh. amazing, though. Yeah, it looks so good. Amazing, I want to go there. Amazing. Like, we, we haven't been to Spain at all, so. Yeah. Oh, really? No. Okay. See, I got a couple creds on you guys. Oh, absolutely. You have several. <laughs> Do I? I think so. Let's You've probably so. got at least, like, ten that we don't have. Maybe. Maybe more. I mean, I have a been... really weird one in Portugal that I was telling you guys about the other day. Yeah, I, I definitely don't have that. I've never <laughs> been to Portugal, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I've never been to Portugal. All right, let's, let's, let's talk rarest cred. Oh. rarest most strange and it doesn't mean yeah. that it's like 
the other people haven't written it, but just like like one that's like just super random. Obscure. Um, yeah. uh, I mean, I, I think like, is it just called Crazy Mouse at uh, Soul, Soul Land? Land? It's it's like this knockoff Mickey Mouse looking train with over the shoulder restraints where you sit like below deep inside. Yeah, like, it's, it's it's ridiculous, and it's it's got. If if you look it up, you'll you'll find it. I I think it's called Crazy Mouse. Here, let's, that's let's, probably the weirdest. This is the magic of post production. I'm gonna put it right there. Nice. I can actually send you the photo of me in the in train. the train in the mouse. There you go. We can put that up. I would say definitely my most obscure because someone actually took the time to message me on Instagram and say that I was not really there, <laughs> that I actually was lying about being in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Uh-huh. Uh, Supersonic Odyssey is definitely ah. my most obscure credit. I was over there on a visa run because I was living in Indonesia at the time. And so I flew over to KL just really quickly, like less than three days. And I rode Supersonic Odyssey and it was amazing. I mean, you obviously know that. You love Intamin, so you know Supersonic Odyssey. I Look, I, there are so many <laughs> that I, I wish I could ride. But the thing is, it's so funny because, you know, I've gone the way of the family, man. So yes. it's always it's harder for me to get to go to these parks and stuff like that because I have to think about not just a single plane ticket and a mm-hmm. single hotel room and a single park, you know, I understand. Uh, yeah. it, times it by a couple. So, uh, but yeah, I was, uh, those are good ones. Crazy mouse and supersonic odyssey. Those yeah. are pretty good. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Those are pretty good. It's going to be, it's going to be better than my, my obscure. I'll save my one for last. So you can all go like a big womp womp. Okay, all right. Josiah, uh, Josiah what, what's your craziest cred? I think my rarest credit would be the, uh, relocated coaster dragons run in Vietnam. Um, that was the one that operated at Myrtle Beach as what? What are they calling that? Do oh, I remember? don't know. I'm not uh, quite that freestyle much of a music coaster or something. Oh, right. <laughs> whatever that one was. I rode that <laughs> B and M sit down. Oh, wait, wait. This is the the B and M. This is the B and M sit down. Oh, that's oh, it fantastic. used to be called Led Zeppelin. Led yes. Zeppelin the ride. Led yeah. Zeppelin that's it. The ride. Led Zeppelin the ride. <laughs> yeah, that's I rode so that cool. in Vietnam. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. All three of us said an Asian coaster. Like you, we've nice. got Korea, nice. Malaysia, Vietnam. Yeah. That's awesome. Those are all super obscure. Well, then I'll talk about an obscure coaster that I almost rode. I keep bumping this microphone. Uh, that has an Asian theme. I almost rode Orient Express in Alpena, Michigan, which would oh have been the, it's the most northernmost uh, coaster in Michigan, basically Sackinac Bridge. Um, I was there in July of last year, and their park was open. Um, you know, COVID rules were pretty strict. I get there and they said, oh, we're just not running it today. And I had no. driven four hours out of my way no. to ride this little teeny fair coaster called the Orient Express so uh, I could brag to people that uh, I had ridden uh, a very, very obscure coaster. But uh, hey, that's just the Asian theme Yeah, in Alpena, Michigan. That is Michigan. one of the worst feelings to be yes. on a coaster trip where you invest time and energy and money. And then you end up there and the coaster is closed. That is just so awful. Like Pearly Whirly Coaster as well. It's Mirrors, Mirrors, uh, Michigan, which is one of those uh, SBF visas that had the oh. hamster wheels. Of course, <laughs> Pearly Whirly. Pearly Whirly. It was going to be the very first one. Like it, they had just opened it. They were the first one open outside of IAPA. Wow. And I went there to ride it and they said, oh, we don't have permission from Italy to operate it. The, the hamster wheel yet, but you can still ride the coaster. Oh. It's like, no! So you have the credit, but not in the way you want. It. Yes, yes. That's weird. But also, my most obscure credit that I've actually ridden is probably um, Hypersonic XLC. Oh, that's oh fantastic. wow! No, that's a Congrats. really good yeah, one. That is not womp womp. None of that's us have amazing. that. None yeah. of us have that. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's awesome. Did you love it? I, I did because I actually wrote it opening year. Um, I went just randomly went out there uh, to help my uncle rebuild his house. And so he gave us a choice. He's like, all right, we can go to King's Dominion or he go to Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, wow. or we could go to like Six Flags. I don't even remember which one it was. Six Flags, like um, America or some, something that was kind of nearby. Maryland. Uh, yeah, it was, we, were, we were near okay. Maryland. Yeah. And so uh, Washington, D.C. is where I was. And we chose King's Dominion. So we go to King's Dominion and they're like, oh, yeah, there's this new ride that opened up called Hypersonic XLC. It's from Logan, Utah. You know, I'm actually originally from Salt Lake City, Utah. So oh, it's nice. like, I was like, oh, really? From Logan, Utah? This is before I was an enthusiast. So, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I'd ridden some roller coasters here and there, but I was like, all right. So, and I go and I look at this thing. I'm like, holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> like, the. Li- because earlier in the show we were talking about like the run up to like these launch coasters, oh, yeah. you know. Hypersonic is uh, Hypersonic what, had like quick n- had n- basically it was like uh, what's that one? Wicked at, at Lagoon. Lagoon. It was yeah. like nothing. It was just like 
Kapow! Oh, but Hypersonic is way faster than Wicked. It, it's fast. It was very fast. And I, what was interesting is it's like Dota Dumpa. It has the, the air-filled mm-hmm, tires, mm-hmm. which was an odd what, experience. What yeah, those year, are strange. What year is that? I don't uh, even 2000, know. 2001? Yeah, okay, so I was so I was alive, but I was too young definitely to fly out there and ah. wow. I didn't even remember when that coaster was from. I thought it was from the 90s. But I guess Yeah, it was yeah, it was like it was 2001. Um and it was fun. I mean, we waited a long time, but it was it was a lot of fun. Uh I remember I I I remember it was very smooth and I remember it was very short. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure it had ejector or time. It did. The top hat. Yeah. And I do remember we sat back row, and oh, that was not by choice. Awesome. A pre pre enthusiast here, so I didn't. Know. I was just like, oh, we're in the back. Oh, okay, this is safer. Oh, <laughs> so, Geo got a very lucky back row ride when we were in uh, Osaka. Oh yeah, what, I. What uh, was that? So so hot take here. I hate B and M flying coasters. Absolutely despise them. I think they're all super uncomfortable. It's to do with the restraints. So. You're for in good me, company, brother. Oh, you too. But for different reasons. Hey, all right. Well, <laughs> do they make you black out? Only Tatsu. Okay. And I have not ridden Flying Dinosaur, but I'm sure Flying Dinosaur would that's kill what me. We're talking that's about. that's where I'm going with this. So, yeah. we I'm going to do a little side note here before I forget. Shout out to my beard bro, Jeremy. Um, <laughs> happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Yeah. Hey. Jeremy. Jeremy's one Happy of, birthday. Yeah, Jeremy is uh, one of our yes. main coaster crew. It's Jeremy and I basically who plan all of our trips. And yeah. uh, At Chasing Airtime. Go Chasing follow Airtime. him. Everybody follow That's Chasing him? Airtime. That's Jeremy. That's Chasing Go Airtime. follow and, uh, Chasing Airtime. Yeah, GP, so, wish him happy birthday, so, GP. Yeah. Happy birthday, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, so Jeremy, Jeremy and I uh, uh, have been traveling with our friend Andrew since we were, like, teenagers. Like, you know, or maybe 20. I think I was 20 when we took our very first, like, big trip. Yeah. And uh, then Geo joined our group very soon after. And the four of us have been taking a, a big coaster trip every year for the last many, many years. So, yes, Jeremy was with us in Japan yeah. for at Universal. Yeah, we were, we were doing our Japan trip. And basically, we rode Flying Dinosaur. And I was, like, dreading it, of course, because I hate <laughs> flying coasters. Yeah. And uh, I rode it, and I was like... Wow, this, I mean, I blacked out like three times mm. um, and I, I felt it's a little wild. bit sick on the coaster. Yeah, but I was like, wow, I really appreciate what they've done because this is so much better than Tatsu and it's just like absolutely yeah. nuts. But we rode it again in the night and I was like, all right, you know what? Like, I don't know if I'm ever going to ride this thing again. <laughs> it's been I'll a few just, hours. Let's I'll ride just, it again. I'll, no big deal. I'll, give it, I'll give it another chance. But the line was two hours. Yeah. So we were only doing single rider. <laughs> and by chance, I got a back row ride. Oh, they no. Antonio and Jeremy had already gotten seated, and I somehow got in the back. And I mean, literally, a ride up came up to me, and was like, shook my hand, and was like, "You are so lucky right now." A single rider, and never I was gets like, back row. "I was like, literally, can you like go get one of my friends from up there and bring them back because I don't even like this ride." And he was like, yeah. "No, trust me, different experience. Like you're gonna, you're gonna like this, or at least." <laughs> Have a different experience, and or not the, remember any of it because you're going to be passed out. Oh no, no! The, the first <laughs> drop is incredible. Yeah, in the back, like it's literally like you are doing a front flip. Sure, you, you're hovering between the back of the seat and the restraint, and, and literally you're just falling down. It's it's so 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 cool. And the the in the back that element, what what is it called? It like. The one that like twists, the one, I, it's got a weird name. I oh, right. think I think it's called the 520. Okay, that thing in the back row, 520 degree roll, is like magical. Yeah. It's incredible. So you're out of the seat the entire way. I still don't enjoy the ride that much, yeah. but if anyone has the opportunity to ride it in the back row, whether you like flying coasters or not, it is seriously like just just do it. It's yeah. it's insane. I'm not a big fan of flying coasters but i don't hate them uh flying dinosaur puts them all to shame uh, it is truly magnificent like magnificent right do you like flying coasters josiah <laughs> yes kind okay. of i um kind of <laughs> tatsu can be a bit much for me definitely mm-hmm. not a ride you want a marathon um mm-hmm. i loved manta manta was great mm-hmm. Those are the only two I've ridden, though, so I don't have too much to compare okay. to. But you haven't done one of the clones yet. I have not. They're very slow. The clones <laughs> don't bother me. Like Superman, like I've ridden the oh, one at... Um, I'm sorry. I have ridden Superman at uh, Great Adventure. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Nice. yeah. I was going to say that one was in Japan. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's slow, but 
I appreciated that it was slow because, like, I mean, the pretzel loop is what I mean. Obviously, Tatsu's awesome. The pretzel loop just takes. Actually, it's not the pretzel loop itself. It's right after the pretzel loop. They're like inline twist. I'm like, ah, you know what I mean? Because mm. you've already had all those G's coming out of it, and and then you kind of want to like, I don't kind of recover, and they go, no, we're gonna do airtime, like just instantly. So the mm, yeah. negative to it's, it's it's the positive to negative mm. that makes me sick. Oh, it's like it's like when you lay it's like when you're laying down. And, and you, you stand up too really fast. Quick. Yeah. 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 Uh, so does that happen also like when you're like, have you ridden Skyrush? I haven't. I haven't even been to Hershey Park. Oh, well, okay. yes. I have been to Hershey Park. Whoa. But when I was like five. Okay. Because I was going <laughs> to ask like the positive to negative ratio on is that is, is crazy. These two like, are going to hate me, but Skyrush is by far the most overrated coaster of all time. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. That thing just wasn't even enjoyable. The restraints are pretty. I was, I was actually in line for Skyrush and I was talking to one of the, uh, the ride ops there. And I go, you guys really need to get some B&M restraints on this. And he goes, not happening. I'm like, why not? He's like, because us good enthusiasts like our ejector. And I'm like, Ooh. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I, I, I actually do don't know how many times I rode Skyrush the first time. Like, I rode it that many I times. I rode it twice, and I refused to ride it ever again. I didn't, I find, it, I wow. didn't find it painful at all. We probably what? rode it for we rode it for about an hour and a half. Oh, yeah. Here's my problem. I think I have one. Like, you always want to leave your restraint a little loose mm-hmm. to get the airtime. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize that the force and the impact from the first drop on Skyrush will crush you. Yep. Oh, yeah. So that extra space I'd left was oh, just extra momentum yeah. for the restraint to just go mm-hmm. straight into my thigh. And so I think that's why I had an uncomfortable experience is because Probably. I left that extra room. Mm-hmm. So I shouldn't have done that. So you refused to ride it because you made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, call, call a national coasters out right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I just, I won't. I didn't like it. And I'll say the same about um, Wildcat. Worst wooden goes oh, right hands thing. down. Okay, yeah, Pegasus is ever. worse though. Wait till you go yeah. to Mount Olympus. Yeah. Ugh, yeah. Pegasus is the worst what? roller coaster I think I've ever ridden. I, that's wow. fair. I mean That's a strong it's, statement. Yeah, the well, hit bash at the end. It's the hit bash. I mean, yeah, it's it's rattling stuff like that, but so is Judge Boy Scream. But but oh, like it's that end. ninety degree turn at the very end. That, of very, <laughs> that very end of Pegasus, I was like if speaking I was if uh, I wasn't holding on, I would have done something to my ribs. Oh yeah, for sure. But speaking of wooden coasters, what are you guys' take on the uh the best wooden coaster in the world, a Phoenix. Oh my God, Phoenix. it is incredible. So okay, I, so we're, we're pro I, Phoenix. We're pro. I, Phoenix. Love, I Phoenix love Phoenix so much. Okay, so much. I do too. It was fun. I. The front car on Phoenix is just phenomenal. Those buzz bars are ridiculous. Yeah. So great. Ridiculous. Yeah. These are all rides I can't wait to ride one day. Ah. Sky Rush, Phoenix, all these fun rides. Don't be too bummed. I never got to ride flying turns. Them, I'm sure. You didn't ride flying turns? It's closed. Oh, oh no. I know. It's and super fun. It sucks, too, because I rode La Vibora, and yeah. I thought it was pretty uncomfortable. I didn't enjoy yeah. it. Flying turns is better. Oh, yeah. If I'm being honest, I myself would not count the bobsleds as credits. I do because they're verified, but if it was up to me, they would not be coasters. Do you count mountain coasters? Alpines? Uh, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like weekends. Like we, yeah. Um. Yes, they're just not traditional roller coasters. They're credits, but they're not roller coasters. Yeah, I agree. They're How coasters. About, they're not oh, roller coasters. Okay. They're, they're coasters. I I count them as well. Yeah. I they're. I mean, I don't count powered coasters at all. Uh, really? None. It's like the little Zamperla dragon ones. No. no. Or even larger ones like the one at Ocean Park. I don't even remember what it's called. Or I like. Either. Or like the one in Germany. Uh, like any of the large scale like powered mine trains. Okay. I don't count so any of them. So what about um. Was it Schwarzkopf that made that really weird single looper? It's up. Op- it's standing, but not operating now. Is Death, Death train. train? Death Train. Yeah. <laughs> Do you count that as a credit? Uh, because the, well, I haven't even. I don't even. What's the mechanism? Is it so ever- the in- the entire course is drive tires, and the reason it's a credit is because the very top of the loop it doesn't have a drive tire, so it's technically operating gravity. on gravity. So it does count. That but one's the, like the, that so ride's funny. propelled completely by drive tires. It's like so humorous. I would probably count it. But like something like that thing at Ocean Park, like they're large scale mine trains. Is that the one with the dumb little cars that like look like a flower? It's like the blue thing. It has like a weird. Well, it's themed to like the Arctic, and it's like a snowmobile yeah, thing. Yeah, I, I posted that like I don't know six months ago or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like any power coasters, I don't count, but mountain coasters, I do count. So I'm always curious. I mean, those are completely gravity. Like. But there should be no argument here. Larson loops. Come on, guys. Credits. <laughs> <laughs> that's just a powered coaster. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. What about those like skateboard coasters? Like that's like you're those sitting count. on a big skateboard. Oh, like and it just the goes... Intimate U ones. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they because they're running on gravity. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they're just they're just giant butterflies. What's what's your opinion? My opinion is that if it's fun, then who cares? Mm. 
Hey, I mean, I like that. I mean, I, I'm pretty, you know, separate from a lot of the community norms of, like, roller coaster enthusiasts. Yeah. So, you know, it's all about having fun. And that's what I think is the best part about this coaster community. And now, of course, you've got a few people in it that are, like, you know, team B&M, team Intamin or whatever like that. Or, But what I really like about the community as a whole is that we all just gather together and we just are having fun. And I actually like the differences. I like, you know, some people are like, oh, Millennium – Force is like the greatest coaster's ever been built, and I was like, oh. you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, that was a big letdown for me. But, uh, but, but, you know what? I'm glad I wrote it because growing up watching it being built, and you know, I could still have a good time because I was like, I can't. I wrote that for the first time in 2019 in my life, nice. and I, and I, you know, I was 40 years old. I just dated myself, but I was like, you know what? I can't believe I'm on this coaster. Finally, mm-hmm. finally, you know, I was, I was super excited to be on it. I uh, didn't write it again, but. Mm-hmm. That's what I like about this community. I really do. That we we can all come together and we can all just geek out about roller coasters oh, yeah. and talk about which ones we like, you know, numbers that's, and stuff like that. So that's for me personally. I don't I don't do any counts. I don't have any opinion on stuff like that because I just like to be. I like to listen and I like to uh, kind of foster the the, the discussion. Absolutely. And the get ideas. Of opinion are like hey, part of what Mr. makes it Ambassador? so fun. What's up? While we're fostering opinions, Ooh. do we want some opinions from our general public friends? Yes. Oh, yeah. Sure. So, what counts as a credit? Oh. 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 Uh, let's, let's, uh, Ooh. I'm going to get my best friend Landon here. Uh, we're both, we both serve a lot. Here, uh, hey, 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 GP, let's, um, can you, can you stand up and, uh, walk behind, uh, the, these other. Oh, we're getting them all three at once. Come on up. Come on okay. up. Okay. All right. Oh, extra all right, mic. All right, Landon, you take my seat. And then we've got Carden here on camera. <laughs> trying to give him a mic for me. Uh, are we getting up? No. Nah, no, nah, we'll just bring him in. Um, here, let's let's get him on the studio cam here. But uh, for those watching, and I doubt there's anybody watching for the first time, but if there are, anybody who's watching and doesn't know the term GP, uh, it's not a word. We're saying the letter G and the letter P. It stands for the general population or the general public. Yep. Uh, and those are individuals who are not enthusiasts, but that's not a bad thing. It's not derogatory. I don't ever use the term GP as a derogatory term. Um, look, w- we as coaster enthusiasts are super nerdy. We will start saying things like, oh, that threw some awesome lats. Nobody knows what that means. But uh, the general P, uh, the general P. <laughs> <laughs> that's a new Instagram account. General, general P. The general P. <laughs> but it's just the the general public, uh, the GP, um, you know they they are what make parks run. Of course, it's not enthusiasts. We got to remember that. That's is that true. It's, the, it's the general population that come in and have a great time. And I mean, I was one for years before I even knew an enthusiast community existed. So uh, I wanted to ask you guys a question. You guys went to Magic Mountain today, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? And say your name into the into the microphone, please. Uh, I'm Landon McKnight. Hi. Hey, hey, even the last name. Check him out. <laughs> Everybody, go stalk him on Instagram. Um, what was your favorite ride today at Magic Mountain? Uh, probably Twisted Colossus. Yeah, what'd nice. you like about it? Yeah, I don't know. It's like I'm not an enthusiast, so I don't really know anything like special about it. But it's not like we didn't uh, preface that before we had him talking at <laughs> all. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> no, no, tell me. I, I'm generally interested because and and be completely open. It doesn't matter. We're not judging you, so it doesn't okay if you don't use the right terminology. No, no judgment here. I just I love to. L- experience roller coasters through the eyes of the GP because that brings back what makes us enthusiasts in the first place, that spark that really spoke to us. And that's why I like having my little son. My little son, he, he's just getting tall enough to ride rides. So tell us what you liked about Twisted Colossus. Well, I mean, like, I, I like going fast. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, and I haven't been to many theme parks, so it's kind of like the only one I really know. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's basically all I got. That it yeah. went fast. See, that's like such a yeah. cool testament to like RMC's abilities to create such a unique coaster because Chris Colossus is absolutely not fast, but it feels fast. It yeah. is it, isn't that amazing fast. though? Like, no, yes. it yeah. feels no, so I, fast. I, I am, I am completely with you. It feels incredibly fast, yeah. but most things you rode today were faster. See, I didn't even know. This. No, I know, and that's what that's <laughs> one of the that's one of many cool things about yeah. RMC is yeah. the way that their coasters ride, the way that they literally the way that they roll on the track makes them feel extremely fast. What, how fast does Colossus go? 50-something? Yeah, probably that. Yeah. yeah. 57 on the and it's probably... Oh, there you go. Oh. I think if anybody 
Yeah. You know Whoa, some wait, stats? Wait, wait, so okay. Like wait, 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 wait. Who was, who was, wait, wait, who, who, was, who said that? Here, lean in there. Lean, lean in there. Lean in there. Okay, what did you just say? I think it was 57. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> and how, how did you know that? Because you looked it up? No, it was on like a board they had on the See? side. And it had like... They're not total GPs. Um, it had like the length of it. said it was like a four-minute long ride. Mm -hmm. And then... It like told you like which like the names of the loops. Yeah. I don't know the names of them. But I will they were say, there. The one okay. talking right now, my friend Jordan, she's a big Disney nerd, so she's not cool. a complete GP. Mm. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thank you for that answer. I appreciate that because here's why I appreciate that. Sometimes enthusiasts we overlook stuff like that because we feel like we already know that. We're like, oh, okay, mm. whatever. But the GP are going in to a ride for the first time, looking at different things than enthusiasts would look of at. Of course. And so I appreciate that. That's that was actually really cool. So what was your favorite ride today? Yeah. Mine was also Twisted Colossal. I think I just like the length of the ride. I feel like a lot of times at theme parks you're waiting for an extreme amount of time. Yeah. So when it's like 30 seconds, I feel like I just like the length. And it was also like it didn't seem fast, but it felt fast. So I just personally like the length and it was high speed. Cool. No, that that's awesome. And we got one more, right? Oh. Pop in, pop in. <laughs> okay. Uh, Get it close to the mic. <laughs> okay. Uh, my favorite one was kind of the same as them, and then X two. I kind of yes, like. Thank you. Yeah. Thank I, you. This sounds weird. Talking to the I mic like if the you can. Part where you like almost blacked out. <laughs> yeah. So, so that was so your what favorite part. Was that, was that though? <laughs> what part was it? It was the outside room turn. Really? Yeah. I was just yeah. kind of when Josiah was like, Lucy, you're gonna black out. And then I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like preferencing, hey, this at this point you're going to black out. I literally said Fly that. Fly dinosaur. <laughs> like, but it was, kind of, it was kind of fun. I liked that part. <laughs> <laughs> wow, in the outside raven. Outside, yeah. Huh. It beats you up. It does beat you up. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah it's, it's rough. No, I just like, didn't. It was like getting you to sleep. No, we... In like a relaxing way or a brutal oh. way? <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. We live in pull the mic close to you. Pull, pull the mic close to you. Design. Sorry. Yeah. We live an hour and a half away, so like... The whole drive, I'm obviously hyping up about the park. Yeah. And X2 is, you know, revered even amongst people who haven't been to Magic Mountain as one of the most intense coasters in the world. Sure. Mm -hmm. And so I made it, for me at least, the proper way to ride X2 is the front row seat. And so I made Lucy ride in the hmm. front row with me, right next to me. And so the whole time I was just screaming random terms at her. She probably had no idea what I was talking about. Hmm. But yeah, we, you, right when you get where the flame should go off, there's a huge <laughs> outside raven turn. And that's when I yeah. was like, you're going gonna, you're gonna to lose it. And she lost it. <laughs> now, was that the inside seat or the outside seat? Lucy. Lucy was on the inside seat. Probably the thing. <laughs> yeah, I took the outside because it's rougher. All right, so I'm going to – I, I, I want to uh, ask a question to everybody here. What was the moment on a roller coaster at a theme park or an amusement park that made you want to become an enthusiast, whether you knew the term enthusiast or not? Uh, was it a single element? Was it a, a ride? Was it just a, a great day that you had? Does this apply to GPs too? Absolutely. Everyone in the room. Let's start with you, Josiah. Oh. Which camera are you going to be in? There I'll, you are. I'll steal Antonio's mic. Um, okay. The moment for me was the flip over on the drop of X2. Hmm. That hmm. was the moment for me. That just like it clicked. Yeah. And some people don't have a moment. I do. That was the moment where I was like, yeah. that was cool. That was genuinely cool. And that's when I started, you know, researching, you know, who is Alan Schilke, mm -hmm. what was aerodynamics, all this stuff, right? And that's what dragged me into the community. And okay. so I really have the X2 to thank for everything. That's, that's it's pretty awesome. cool. That's awesome. Antonio, what do you think? Uh, mine will be a very different answer than that. Um, it was literally riding my very first roller coaster. Which was? Big Thunder Mountain. I was three years old. Nice. I was three, and I rode it literally in between my parents on the <laughs> one bench seat. And the feeling in my stomach... That was it for me. I had no idea what an enthusiast was. I mean, I'm three. I'm I like I. There was no way I didn't even use a computer or anything. What you didn't like, go straight to the forums after like, that? Okay, it was like okay. <laughs> I need to go on that again. I need to go on that again. I need to go on that again. And my parents have video, you know, from that day. Yeah. And I went to the Magic Mountain when I was five, and like I have almost no memory of that because I could hardly ride anything. You know, the height requirements are too high. But like by the time I was like eleven, I was on the TPR forums. And um, like at 11, I was saying, can we take a trip for my 13th birthday? And that was my first ever coaster trip. And nice. so like literally my whole life, I've 
been like an enthusiast, if you could say so. I mean, just the the, the desire, nice. <laughs> the desire to ride more roller coasters, if if that can count as that is literally the definition of enthusiasm, right? I'm enthusiastic sure. about this. From the moment I rode my very first coaster ever, that's I've always loved them and wanted to ride more of them. That's awesome. So and I, I think, guess I have Big Thunder Mountain to thank. <laughs> and, and there's like no, there's like no height limit on that ride too, right? Like, like you could 30, bring like newborns on that ride, right? Thirty six inches. Oh, so like literally, that's like a toddler. It's stupid. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And I think Carden, uh, who's doing some uh, behind the scenes here, just had his first enthusiast moment tripping over the chair in the studio. Yeah, so he is felt, now addicted almost. to airtime. He got some pretty sweet. I wouldn't say that's ejector airtime. That was pretty. Oh yeah, that was yeah. pretty awesome. I think the chair had some ejector airtime. <laughs> the chair did come off the ground. Yeah. So what about you? What's, what was your moment? Um, for me, I would actually say riding Skyrush. Wow. Um, I was not an enthusiast, and I mean. Really, I, I, I you traveled I kind around of, with me a little, yeah, but like, you're I, like, this is fun. And I kind of just thought, like, yeah, I like roller coasters, yeah. but at one point I was like, well, if Antonio and all these people think that all this other stuff outside of California is so great, I should probably see for myself. And when I left and r- did this East Coast trip, I was like, wow, like everything's better than all the stuff in California. <laughs> and I was like, wow, this is crazy. And when I rode Skyrush, I remember going over the first drop and being like, are you are you kidding me? Like, I've never felt anything like this. Right. Like, there's, there's nothing, no roller coaster can compare to this. And I mean, of course, now I've ridden coasters that I think are even better. Yeah. Um, and that even still blows my mind a little bit. And I think that's what keeps me an enthusiast is that the designers and companies are always trying to one up themselves Mm -hmm. and they all do well not all but most of them do really well in their own right like you have rmc one upping themselves all the time Mm -hmm. you have intamin one upping themselves all the time i mean like there are so many companies that are doing specific things that there's always something that keeps me enthused about traveling to ride a new coaster so vacoma's Right there oh now, Vacoma's yeah, coming seriously. up. Seriously, uh, thank you for mentioning that. I, yeah. I'm so excited. Like a big pair. Oh, <laughs> what is that going to feel like? Yeah, well, we need to get some in America. So know. you know, I, hey, I'm with you there, and and you know, I I appreciate what you said about that enthusiasm. You know, it's like we're all chasing that dragon, right? We're all chasing that Tatsu, uh, and it's cheaper than cocaine. Oh, it is. It is. It's true. But, I wouldn't but, but, know. Hey, we've, we've I have got no a idea. Form of coke right here. It's not, <laughs> not really. You know what I usually go for, but it'll do the <laughs> trick for tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, who else we got in here? Uh, the GP. What? 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 What were some roller coasters? Uh, uh, when? Let's wait. Was today your first time riding a roller coaster? No. 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 All right. Was there a moment that you can recall? Was it today? Uh, where you were like, "Wow, I can't believe that there are certain rides that can do this," and I want to find bigger and better <laughs> coasters to ride well see mine's kind of the same uh get into your mic button oh sorry um i don't really have like a certain ride to thank it's kind of josiah because from the moment i met him he was kind of talking about how like within like a week of meeting this kid he's talking about how he's gonna bring me up to magic mountain and i'm gonna <laughs> i don't even know. blackout yeah i'm gonna like <laughs> I'm gonna pass out on this ride and the moment like I pull up, he's telling me how I'm gonna black out and I'm not gonna remember this day and like <laughs> all this. So it's really just kind of him kind of scaring me into mm. riding like a serious roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, girls? Um, for me, my favorite roller coaster was Ghost Rider. Mm. I like ah, the farm. It's a good excellent one. choice. Yeah, so I'd go with my dad all the time. And then when I met Josiah, he kind of did the same thing <laughs> where he'd just be like, you have to come with me. And then he said that for like a year. And then I've, now I finally went. He's like, I can't wait to hear see like cry on the ride. <laughs> so that's kind of it. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, you want your thighs to be destroyed? Let's go to Hershey Park, bro. Like you want your thighs to be completely ruined? <laughs> and then uh, the other guy there. I forgot your name. I'm sorry. I'm just going to call okay. you girl too. <laughs> No, that's horrible. That's completely racist. <laughs> right. Wait, racist? It's okay. I, have a I don't sister. know. I don't even know. <laughs> Second. Um, so for me, I've had like a Disney pass my whole life. Disney's been like ah. pretty big for me. And I think it was, it's not it anymore. It's Incredicoaster. But prior it was, um, what was it called? California. 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 Every one, two, yeah. three. 
California screaming. Yeah, and I always used to go when I was younger, and I was never tall enough to yeah. ride it. And I always wanted to go upside down the loop, and I was never yeah. old enough. And then I finally, when I was able to, I think that was just kind of exciting because I was able to go upside down. Yeah. And ever since then, I've like liked roller coasters. Nice. And then I came to Six Flags for the first time when I was 11, but I don't really like remember it. And then Josiah has been <laughs> bugging. We're like, oh, we should all go. So now I'm here. Nice. So yeah. Jordan, tell them about my name tag at work. Oh no. Oh, so oh, I dear. met Josiah oh. at work. I'm a work friend. I'm a coworker. I, I see. Like, I met him at work. Um, like. Six months ago, but his role, we all have like personalized name tags at work, and oh his is gosh. I love oh. roller coasters. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, so, that, yeah. That sounds yeah. about right. So, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. That's funny. But no, that's cool. Good old Intamin and the uh, and the uh, uh, Incredicoaster Loop. Um, I have a really funny moment. So I, I didn't really have my home park was Las Vegas. I didn't live in Las Vegas. I lived just north of there. So those were my rides. Those are like my mm. the ones I rode the most, and. When I rode uh, Manhattan Express or the Big Apple Coaster, whatever mm-hmm. it's called now, the big Crapple Coaster, the big for the first time, um, <laughs> uh, the dive loop. Oh, that on that roller coaster, I had never experienced an element like that before. Now I had been to Magic Mountain, mm-hmm. you know, I had been to Magic Mountain and I had been to, um, you know, ridden some rides like that, but I had never experienced that dive loop. And that's a pretty darn good di- live loop. You may not like the roller coaster, but that dive loop is. It's legit. very fast. It's fast yeah. and it like really hangs you upside down. Like it's almost mm-hmm. like a stall. A little bit. For a while. Yeah. And um uh and, and it just that moment when I came off of that ride, all I could remember was that moment going, that was awesome. Mm. And that made me go onto the internet and try to figure out what it was called I see. and if it was anywhere else. And that's what really started the spark with me, which that's so cool. I might be the only enthusiast in the world. That got going because of the Big Apple Coaster. I think that's awesome. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, I mean, that, that is a similar experience so hated too. in the community. So. It is. I it's didn't not, mind it. It's it's not that bad of a roller coaster. I mean, it really isn't. I haven't ridden it with the new Premier trains yet, so Neither I mean, right. I don't know. But yeah, I, I haven't either. But I mean, it's 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 such a cool setting, though. Like sure. I I, I want to mention that. Like, what other coaster is like? Speed the ride. It's not it, there anymore. Yeah, it's yeah, gone. Exactly. Like to have a roller coaster in a metropolitan city. Totally. Outdoors like that. Mm-hmm. That's just such a cool experience. Thunder Dolphin. Yep, we've been oh, that's true. That's just true. Say, well, you've ridden well, another hey, one like that. I mean, I think it's awesome that you got your yeah. your start on that yeah, as that's a roller cool. coaster enthusiast. That's, 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 cool. that's awesome. Well, that's that's what made me want to become an enthusiast. You know, I've obviously ridden stuff like Lagoon. I've been to Lagoon a couple times and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Growing up in Utah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Puff the Little Fire Dragon was my first thing. But, you know, that brings it all back circle. Uh, uh, all back circle. That <laughs> brings it full circle with the, uh, what well, you're talking about, the theming and, and like the environment where the roller coasters are that's true um you know i'm just super grateful that you all made it out here to the studio uh that we could just chat for a while it kind of became the uh hot take show which was fun a bit. which a bit, was fun yeah. a little bit. it's all right it's always fun we could um, get deeper trust me mm. oh yeah mm. hey but you know that would be another hour and we're already in an hour so uh <laughs> well, thank you so much for having us yeah thank you yeah. for having us yeah. experience we appreciate you no thanks for coming out uh, i appreciate you being on the show um We'd love to have you back because I, I, I think you've got some more interesting stories like some Instagram banning and and oh, fun Lord. stuff like that, uh, which <laughs> we, will, we will tease. We will yeah. tease for the next episode. And Josiah, thank you so much for coming out, bringing your entourage with you. Um, and we're going to do a one-on-one with uh, Josiah uh, at a later point, which, will, which would be great. So, um, again, thank you so much, everybody. Um, Really appreciate you coming out. Yeah, well, I'd also like to appreciate Cardin Ellis for letting us use the space. Thank yes. you. Um, as so always, appreciate so appreciate that, that Cardin. Thank, Thank you, sir. And for the free Coke, the uh, pre-woke Coke is what he called it. <laughs> and uh, uh, again, um, I'm the ambassador, and this has been your ERT.